Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time for the end of the month show us your sheet load and happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see what subscribers sent in this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what I got in my P.O. box for the month. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load feature, but then I had subscribers start to send me cards just because. So now it's kind of a show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. If you're interested in sharing cards you make using the sheet load of cards, there is three different ways that you can share those. One is with a video here on YouTube, another is with an Instagram post, and then finally, you can send in a card for the end of the month video. I will link the video that tells you all about how to do that in the description box below. If you have any questions on that, make sure to leave those in the comment section below or you can send me an email at the email address at the bottom of my description box. Let's take a look at the cards from this month. This first card came from Charlotte B of Texas and how can you not have a groovy day when you receive a card like this? She actually drew that lava lamp herself using pastel pencils and in the background she used a stencil to make the rays coming behind it. I love this card Charlotte, thank you. Linda H. from Maryland has sent in this next card. She used the November 2020 sheet load of cards for the layout and on the inside she let me know that she has made over 40 cards using this sketch. I have already heard from many of you that this is going to be one of your favorites. Thank you so much Linda for sending in a card this month. This next card came from Danny B. of Nebraska, and if you've been around long, you've definitely heard your name. She is my local friend here, and she does the most beautiful coloring, and this card is no exception. She sent this to me in the mail as a thank you for placing a Color Street order. Thank you so much, Danny. It is beautiful. On a side note, if you would like to try Color Street out for yourself, I will link Danny's site in the description box below. Jennifer D. of California sent in two envelopes this month, and each one of them had a card that was made using the November 2020 layout. I absolutely love how she has rotated the sketch for these cards, and that wood element on the left card is so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for sending in cards. Wanda R. from Virginia sent in this card, which also uses the November 2020 sheet load of cards and is also turned on its side. I love the pretty purples and the sentiment circle is really grabbing my attention. I like how it's just clean and simple but it has a little bit of sparkle. Thank you so much Wanda for sending in a card. Janice U from Texas sent in these two cards, which again, using the November 2020 sheet load of cards, and she wrote me a nice little note. In it, she said that she just discovered sheet load in September, and I think this is Janice's first time sending in cards. Thank you so much, Janice, for taking the time to do that. On a side note, I do want to let you know, Janice, that I'm sorry for the reasons that you had extra crafting time, but I am glad that you got some in. Mary G. of Missouri sent in these next goodies. I joined her last month for one of her live crafty sessions called Craft Roulette, where we let a wheel decide what we were going to put into our cards. If you missed that live show, I will link the YouTube replay in the description box below so you can check it out. It is definitely a fun time on a Friday night. 
she sent me a little crafting emergency door hanger which i'm going to use next time i need everybody to stay out of my craft space and a craft roulette sticker thank you so much mary i had a great time Anita T. from Canada had two envelopes show up this month. I'm thinking that October's got a little bit delayed. On the left are two cards using the November 2020 layout, and on the right she used the October 2020. I really like how she adjusted both of the sketches to larger cards. One of the great things about sheet load is you can adjust it to your own needs. Thanks again Anita for sending in cards. Katarina D. of Canada is another first timer to show us your sheet load and she has sent in two cards that use the November 2019 sheet load of cards layout. I love how people go back and use those old ones and enjoy them just as much as the latest. Thank you so much Katarina for taking the time to send in these wonderful Christmas cards. And last but certainly not least is a package that I received from Debbie V in Florida. I didn't think a photo would quite do these justice, so I wanted to do this on video. First of all, she sent me a beautiful note in this, it's almost like jaw-dropping card. The details and texture and dimension is just amazing. And then, she makes the most beautiful albums and she has sent me one. Not only is the outside beautiful, each page inside is just as lovely. It is decorated with so much detail. There are pockets, there are tuck spots. Thank you so much, Debbie. I will treasure this. Some of you might have already seen her lovely work here on my channel. She is the crafty YouTuber who I purchased my glue bottle charm from. This has saved me so many times from losing that stopper that keeps my glue nice and moist. I will also link that video of Debbie's below where she tells you how you can order one of these for yourself. It is definitely worth its weight in gold. Now if you would like to check out what subscribers made and shared here on YouTube and on Instagram, I will have the link to the YouTube playlist below as well as a link to the search on Instagram. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send in cards and beautiful albums to me this month. Each time I go to the post office, I love to open that little door and see a card inside. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.